What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Oh, it's me, Jack. Anyways, I got sent some photos, which I'm going to show you guys and kind of go over because, again, I'm kind of done with Division with all the bugs. You've all guys seen it. I mean, and ladies. You've seen all the bugs, especially for PlayStation players. I feel so sorry for you guys where it was almost unplayable and things like that. You guys have tried to stick through this game, and there are some hardcore players who still want to stick with this game and stay on this game. You want to enjoy this game. And I'm still here to support you guys, to help you guys get proper information. Um, pretty much my Codex 3 was the last video I'm pretty much making on the vision. Uh, I've got my Helldiver stuff starting to uh, build up. I'm slowly downloading this stuff once I can get to a decent spot to get some internet. So with all that being said, let's get into this video, shall we? I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. Now, I was sent these photos right here by a buddy of mine who told me about what's going on and after looking this stuff over, it's pretty clear that this gentleman right here, or lady, whatever you want to call him, has been plagiarizing other content creators. Now, we've all been sitting there saying, well, I was the one who created that build. No, I was the originator of that build. That's one thing. To be the person who said, I created that build, like me, my tactical nuke one, no one else has put on a crit chance with skill damage one until I put that one out there. My fun build that I put into the codex, the one that's uh, kind of like a running gun, little hybrid build, I created that one. The other one, at the very end of my codex, I created that one. That one was all me. And I'm pretty sure some people may have created it, but they didn't put it out on YouTube. Now those ones right there, I created first and I put those out on YouTube. Does it matter? No, because someone else probably already created it and they've had it in their repertoire, but they never put it out on YouTube. There's a different situation with this right here. Now, with this stuff right here, this gentleman made a video and it got over 28,000 views. Made this video. And I watched it and I actually liked that video. I thought it was great. Then, that was about three months ago, and then I seen this right here today, which was this gentleman's right here, or lady, because they use AI voice to basically take that person's video, word for word, and just use the AI audio to take their words and make it look like it's theirs. Now, supposedly this video was taken down before I was able to see it, but they claim this. Well, here's another one. This is Cold Boys on X. I went and saw this. These are two of their videos right here, and I have recorded them. So, what I'm going to do is this, right here. I'm going to let y'all listen to the first person, their video, which will be Swords. I want you to listen to their words very carefully. I want you to watch how their video plays out. Then I'm going to take the same thing from Cold Boys. I'm going to play that right after. Listen to it very carefully. Both of them talk about S tier. Both of them talk about the game the exact same way. A little bit of paraphrasing. And then I'm going to show that they both immediately start talking about Strikers. They both have the exact same build on and everything else. So pay attention very carefully. Here we go. Hello agents and welcome back to another Tom Clancy's The Division 2 video. Today we'll go over three top tier solo builds for the most recent title update 20.3, which includes the best gear pieces, weapons, specializations, and playstyles for each setup. These builds are intended to make you feel immensely powerful, and we accomplish this by taking advantage of some of the greatest gear sets and weaponry in Division 2. These builds are now better than ever. 
thanks to Project Resolve and some much-needed quality-of-life improvements and buffs to a lot of major weapons. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Okay guys, we'll start this top 3 list off with one of the finest raw damage builds in Division 2. This build makes use of one of the most powerful gear sets in Division 2, the Striker Battle Gear. Now this build compromises survivability for strong DPS, which is actually great because as the old saying goes, sometimes having a higher offense makes for a better defense. The Striker set improves this build's weapon handling, rate of fire, and allows you to stack damage with each succeeding weapon hit, making it even more powerful. You can use the exotic memento bag for this build to add survivability if you'd like, and with each kill an enemy will drop a trophy. Collecting each trophy increases weapon damage, skill effectiveness, and armor regeneration by 1% with a maximum stack count of 30. If you don't have the exotic memento bag, then the Striker backpack is an excellent alternative. The Striker Backpack increases overall weapon damage gain on every stack from 0.65% to 1%, roughly doubling the amount of damage you may obtain per stack and allowing you to deal out even more damage. We are using the Obliterate Talent on the Fenris chest piece, which received a recent buff back when Title Update 20 was released. Critical hits now boost overall weapon damage by 1% for 10 seconds rather than 5, with a maximum stacking of 25. The St. Elmo's engine completes this build. This exotic assault rifle packs a punch. With a 70 round magazine, high crit chance and crit hit damage mods, and the Actum S talent which replenishes your magazine with 35 shock bullets every 100 stacks. The best weapon option for a striker's build. What's going on guys welcome back thank you so much for clicking on the video today we are breaking down three s tier solo builds for title update 20 which includes the best gear pieces weapons specializations and playstyle for each setup these builds are designed to make you feel extremely powerful and we achieve this by using some of the strongest gear sets and weapons in the Division 2. Thanks to Project Resolve and some much needed quality of life changes, these builds are now better than ever. Real quick guys, if you didn't already know, this month I'm giving a- Also has Colorway 22nd, good luck everyone. We're starting this top three list with one of the best raw damage builds in the Division 2. This build sacrifices survivability for high DPS, which is okay because in most situations, a higher offense is an even better defense. This build also takes advantage of one of the strongest gear sets in the Division 2, Striker's Battle Gear, which increases weapon handling, rate of fire, and lets you stack damage with each consecutive weapon hit. To make the build even stronger, we are utilizing the Striker's Backpack, which increases total weapon damage gain per stack from 0.65% to 1%, nearly doubling the amount of damage we can achieve per stack. To achieve an even stronger damage output, we're using the Obliterate Talent on the chest piece, which was recently buffed in TU20. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 10 seconds now instead of 5, stacking up to 25 times. The finishing touch on the build is the St. Elmo's Engine Exotic Assault Rifle, which has 70 rounds in the magazine, high crit chance and crit hit damage mods, and the Actum S talent which refills your magazine with shock bullets at 100 stacks. The perfect weapon choice for a striker's build. For the specialization, there's three. Now, another one, McGuns. He's also said this as well. There's another content creator here. There are several content creators on this X who are sitting here saying the exact same thing, that they've had this done to them by this same person. Now, they've all decided to let bygones be bygones and say, hey, we're not going to put a strike against them, just kind of be the nice person. And I commend you guys for that. I really do. There are some people who, now that they are aware of this, the moment that happens, they should be sending a strike against them. Be yourself. Be who you are. Not try to do what other people are doing, because that's plagiarism. Like me, if someone wants to make a codex video like what I did and put in that much time, yeah, I'm going to be kind of upset, but it is what it is. You just wanted to copy me, and that's kind of flattering. You wanted to be like me. Okay, cool. Appreciate that. And I'll do the same as what those guys did. I'm not going to put a strike against them. I'm going to ask you to kindly take it down. That's about all I'm going to do. If you don't, then I will. I'll take actions afterwards, after asking you politely to do so. Because, just like those guys, I'm that type of nice guy. I'll let you do what you want to do. 
I see that you're flattering trying to mimic me. But at the end of the day, they're right. That's their content. They put in hours. Me, I put in weeks on mine. Weeks on my codex. If you got that much time to do so, I commend you for it because it's tough to do all that stuff. To get those builds 100% accurate. To get that time put in to make sure you have the information that they need for the player bases. But to take someone else's work and literally mimic by just putting AI voice, no originality. So again, ladies and gentlemen, you guys take this as what you will, but that's what we've found out so far. And that's the truth. Like I said, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. I'm just going to bring you the truth. Let you just make your own determinations. But again, Division 2, this is part of the level of toxicity of the Division 2 as well. So, another reason why I'm stepping away. Anyway, y'all be safe, be blessed, enjoy, and I'll catch you guys out there. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love.